Okay, I'm up at the top of the ramp down to the marina, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about how the marina here is laid out. The marina has three docks. This is A dock. Go straight down the ramp and out A dock. The cross dock there is D dock. In the middle is B, and over on the far side is C. So a total of four docks. Uh, a dock and C dock are 450 feet long. Uh, B dock is about 350. And uh, then the cross dock, D dock, is about 300 feet. So let's walk out here and see what kind of boats we're going to find. There's a Grady White. This is a seasonal customer. And we've got a big inflatable that's been here. I haven't seen this one before this year. And a little runabout. This is the marina service boat. Kind of rough. And another Grady White. 25 footer. And another runabout. A uh, small lobster boat. There are a few lobster boats that actually stay here as seasonal customers. And this is an Ellis 36 set up for sport fishing. It's a nice boat. And over here, we've got a, another little runabout and an old lobster boat, Seven Bells, that does day tours and a sort of lunch sessions. Yeah, we got a small lobster yacht here, and behind that, there's a Hinkley jet boat. Looks like about a 40-footer. And over here, we have a much larger Hinkley jet boat. And this one, I think, might be a 55. Talaria 55. And more modern boat here. Not sure what kind it is. And uh, another relatively new uh, power boat. Two of them look pretty much the same side by side. And uh, another Hinkley jet boat. Now some of these jet boats may belong, be boats that uh, Hinkley Service is working on and has brought in here because yet here is yet another Hinkley jet boat and here's a fairly good sized lobster boat I believe it's a Young Brothers 42 and uh, uh, across the dock from it is a Nordhaven 47 this is another seasonal boat and this is a, a little Finnish boat these are new boats, and there are two of them in the harbor this year. This one, I think, is about a 28, and there's also a 37 out on a mooring. Kind of very distinctive looking boats. And a lobster yacht. That is a boat named Boethius. It used to be uh, right next to me. And then we have a modern style Florida boat which is a, uh, about uh, 38, 40 feet. And a main style runabout, two of them. And a nice wooden lobster yacht. This, I believe, is a bunker in Ellis, but I'm not 100% sure. And beyond that, we've got a DeFever 44 trawler. A little 25 foot sailboat. I believe this is a Pacific Seacraft 25, quite an old boat. It has been here in the marina, I think this is its third year. And here is another lobster yacht. This is a nice boat. I think that it's fiberglass. Can't be 100% sure. And the first sailboat here. This uh, looks like it might be a Hansa, about a 50-footer. I'm not sure on the 
brand. There has been a Hansa about this size here for the last few years, although it was on uh, the other side of the marina. But I, there's no name anywhere visible on the boat. And an old Chris Craft. Uh, this belongs to a local guy. And we got a couple boats out at the end. First one, this red one here, is a boat that I don't recall seeing before. Nice 50-footish uh, sailboat uh, with uh, deck salon design, rigged up as a cutter, and with uh, in-boom furling. So, nice boat. And once again, no indication of what kind it is. There is a time when I would have been able to tell you, but I can't anymore. And out here, we have uh, a couple, a, a nice trawler yacht, Nighthawk, and I'm not sure what kind of boat this is. And on the other side is the Sutton. This is one of the local ferries that runs between uh, Mount Desert Island and the Cranberry Islands. So let's walk over and take a walk out B Dock. Okay, here we go out B Dock. This aluminum uh, cruiser here has been here all summer. Don't really know much about it, except that it's a pretty nice boat set up for some serious. Uh, blue water cruising and uh, very salty boat has uh, dogging hatches and everything so she's really completely watertight and over here we got an MJM looks like about a 40 and a little sailfish 270 and then a Seaway 23. This is another Nordhaven. And let's walk back and take a look at it. And see what it is. Yeah, another Nordhaven 47. And this boat uh, is seasonal. It's been here for a number of years all summer. And this gray boat, lobster yacht style boat. No indication of the make. And uh, another T top. Nice little day boat. And a cutwater. Don't know what size. Yet another Hinkley jet boat. And uh, this one may be an original Hinkley picnic boat extended cabin. And behind that, or next to that, we have yet another uh, little uh, lobster boat style day boat. And first uh, sailboat over here. This looks like an Ericsson. Don't know uh, how big it is. Looks like, oh, 37, 38 feet. And another little uh, day boat. 7.95 meter which puts it in the 25 foot range the Larson 260 cruiser boat and here we have a very pretty little day sailor just from looking at it I'm guessing that this may well be a Pisces 21 which is the locally built day sailor. We've got a Tierra here. And there's one more boat which just docked. So I'll stay away from them a little bit rather than bother them. A Hunter 41. And I watched them dock. They've got a San Diego hail port, so they're a ways from home. And uh, that boat has a super powerful pow thruster. 
Okay, there are only two other boats that I didn't show you. They're both Flemings. There are a total of five Flemings in the marina right now. And there was some talk about a Fleming rendezvous happening here. And this may be the beginning of it because three of the Flemings are seasonal customers and two of them just showed up. So here's the first Fleming. These are all in the 55 foot range. And there's the second one. Okay, this is Sea Dock. This is the dock where the bigger boats tend to tie up because they can come in and be on the face here. And the first boat is another Fleming. Again, about a 55. And right behind it is yet another Fleming. And a schooner, the Bailey Louise Todd. Looks like you guys are getting ready to start taking tourists out. Oh, very soon. Tomorrow. Out of Bar Harbor? Yep. Yeah. I'm sailing around tomorrow and then start running the trips. Ah. Finally get some money in the pocket. Oh my god. I thought you all did this just for uh, fun. Well, I get paid, but don't tell any of these other guys. Oh, okay. I'll keep quiet. Okay. So this schooner does day trips out of Bar Harbor starting tomorrow. And another Fleming, as I mentioned earlier. And then we've got a pretty good sized powerboat. Not sure what it is. I, I think there's a name further back. We'll find out in a little bit. Looks like a fairly new one. And uh, on the other side, another Fleming. That's the fifth one. Okay, this is a Belize. That's a brand I am not familiar with. It's been here for about four or five days. And here we have a Sabre. I think it's a 362. It just appeared about two days ago. Okay, and here we have a brand new uh, Hinkley Talaria 34. But this one has outboard power. And uh, it's a brand new boat. It's still in sea trials. They have not painted it yet. That's why it's gray with patches all over it. Any place there was a little imperfection. And doesn't have its final windshield in. Uh, it'll have a single piece uh, curved glass windshield uh, when they get that get to that point. Right now, uh, the sea trial captain has simply taped a piece of Isenglass up there to keep the wind off his face because this is a 60 knot boat <laughs> and uh, pretty pretty flash it's just a uh, it is more or less the standard Hinkley 34 foot jet boat hull but without the inboard engines and a couple of 350 horse mercury outboards on it which gives it a lot of get up and go so this is uh, Hinkley's latest uh, shift in their market and here we have a more old school Hinkley. This is a Hinkley 70 Catch. This one is the better part of 20 years old, although you wouldn't know looking at it. Perfect varnish as usual, and a really beautiful boat. And two more boats out here. This one, Ranger, is a Morris Yachts M42. A boat, this is the next to the largest of the Morris Day Sailor class boats. They have a 29, a 36, the 42, and there's also a 52 that they built a few of. But these are very uh, nice boats to sail. They're set up pretty much with a self-tacking jib. That track right in front of the mast is the uh, where the jib is sheeted to, down to. And all the lines for sail control are fed down under the deck back to the winches and the helm. So these are really nice boats. And we got a little Outrage 25 center console here. Boston Whaler. And 
the last boat here on Sea Dock is uh, a friendship sloop. And this one belongs to my friend Shane. And it's uh, a fiberglass boat. This one's kind of an outlier among friendship sloops in that it is very beamy and has quite a large cabin house. A very nice boat for taking the family out. Okay, let's go back and walk the last dock, D dock, which is the cross dock that all of the other docks come off of. Okay, here we are on D dock. First boat is uh, an older Sabre 36 fast trawler. And it is right next to an Ellis 36. And from about 1990. And beside that is the prettiest boat in the marina. Well, I'm biased. It's my boat, my Noons Brothers 32 from 1936. So all the first three boats all have 19 have 36, either in length or build year. And then here is a Dyer 29. Across the dock from my boat is uh, uh, this little uh, day boat. I think it's an old. Uh, Navy lifeboat or whale boat of some sort. It's clearly been redone for day cruising. And right next to it is a Rich Brothers 28, which is a wooden boat built here in Bass Harbor, Maine. And then we got a about a 34 footer. I do not know what kind of boat this is. It has nothing on it that indicates uh, who built it. And now we've got an Allura 27, just a nice little uh, cruiser to go out and do day runs. And then another little cruiser here, I'll walk over and see if I can see what the name is. And next to it is a Sabre 34, one of Sabre's older designs see what this is. There's something written on the side. This is a Harrier. I'm not familiar with that. And here we have another Sabre. Looks like a Sabre 36. This is basically the same as the boat down at the end of D-Dock, the first boat we looked at here. And this is a new boat here this year, another Sailfish 290. And here is a little cold molded runabout. Uh, this boat sits in the shed just a couple boats down from Tortuga over the winter. It's a very nice little boat. And here is a Hinkley Talaria 29. Uh, this is the 29R for runabout. This one's been here at the marina for a number of years. Here's another boat that just showed up this year. This is an American Tug 34. And we have what looks like another little Dyer Express of some sort. And a Hinkley extended cabin jet boat or picnic boat right beside it. And on the other side, we got a couple of lobster boats. This big one is a brand new boat and uh, just launched this year. And the owner always names his boats Miss Abby. This is the third Miss Abby that I'm aware of. And uh, they're always painted the same. So except for being a little bigger, this is very much the same as the Miss Abby that was here last year. Now we just got some runabouts and that uh, finalizes the boats here at the Great Harbor Marina on July 14, 2021. Well, I'm running out of battery. Hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit of news about uh, what's going on here in Southwest Harbor at the Great Harbor Marina in terms of boats that are here. Thanks for watching.